Hey guys, and welcome back to an all new Cole Culture video. So, I bought the Hitch Mount Light from Diode Dynamics. I really like their stuff. And they have some headlights coming out for us, F 150 guys. Keep a lookout for those. But I bought this because where I live, it's super dark outside all the time. There's not that many street lights. You know, just when I'm backing up, I'm hoping this gives me just a little bit more light. And then it's also going to give me a little bit more visibility from behind in traffic situations where people are behind me. Um, and I'll show you more about that later. But let's just crack this thing open, take a look at it, see what comes in the box, take a look at the build quality, install it it and then see how bright it actually is i already cut the tape so we ain't gotta worry about all that and i took out my address and everything so the light is right here very difficult to get out with one hand let's see if i can get the whole thing out oops information here i guess thanks for your purchase stuff like that here Here are some stickers that come with it. Let's read some stickers. Instructions right here. Don't need instructions because I just got done watching the video on how to install it. So wiring harness and light. Jeez, I gotta be honest with you. The light itself has like this crazy thick, heavy, kind of just like tank of build quality. You see their cooling fins in the back. That's different from everybody else in the industry. The plastic feels, you know, a little thin, but you know, nothing crazy. It doesn't feel cheap, but like I wouldn't say it feels cheap. Now you can cut these right here on both sides and put a lockable pin, which I'm gonna order one. I just didn't order one because I wanted to see how this worked myself first. But yeah, super, super good build quality on it. Now, how bright is it? How nice will it work? Well, we'll have to see, but build quality, pretty freaking great. Here is our wiring harness. Also built in America, which is a big deal for me. I'm a pretty big patriot and uh, having everything built here in America is like, I don't know. I just like to support my own country, I guess, when it comes to buying things. Well, at least as much as I can, you know, because pretty much everything comes from somewhere else at some point. But here is everything. Let's get down underneath, install it. I'll cut to tonight and show you how bright it is. Okay, we're underneath. The hitch is right there. This big old mess of wires. This is what we want to focus on right here. You don't have to worry about none of that. We're just going to unplug this, which they may look way easier on their video. But we're gonna unplug this, and then I'm gonna take the harness, and the harness goes right in between and all, and then you fish the back wire right there, and then you can cut that purple wire if you don't want one of the coolest features about this, but I want that feature, so I'm not gonna cut it, but if you don't want it, all you have to do is cut it. So let me pull this thing out, figure out how to pull it out. This clip right here, I think it's hilarious. The video is like, oh, less than a minute, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, less than a minute if you already break this clip loose. This clip is like, Satan's spawn is so freaking hard to get off. Uh, I used a screwdriver and I just pried it back and then that finally got it off. Mine was freaking extra stuck. His had like butter on it or something. I don't know. Once that's off, then I can pull this out. Okay, that's what it looks like when it's all done. Uh, unplugging this felt like such a freaking mission, to be honest with you guys. But now I'll take one of the zip ties they gave you. They gave you three. I think I'm probably gonna zip tie this to this and then probably pull some of this back and see how much I need. All right, so now we're gonna plug this in, snap it all in and tie up those wires underneath. Make sure I don't get caught on nothing while off-roading or anything like that. All right, awesome. Now it's all plugged in. Let's get this baby to snap in all nice and clean. Let's tie up that wire. You see it hanging right here and uh, test these puppies out. Just for reference, I put a zip tie here and here. We'll just keep the cord up and out of the way. The only thing is, is that's what it is lined up, right? So it kind of peeks out, but it's kind of loose right there. But then if I keep pushing it back, then it gets tight. I think I'm just gonna keep mine like that because at least that way I know uh, it ain't going nowhere and it ain't hanging out no more. But you can see I can kind of push it from the back. Like that's where it's supposed to be, but it kind of rattles right there. So I don't know. All right, I haven't even checked if it works yet. So let's see. Okay, so that's break. And then uh, we'll check the reverse lights tonight. That way you guys can actually get a good idea of what they're like. And then I'll drive with this today. So I'll be able to give you a little bit of a better idea of what it is driving with it on the truck. So it keeps giving me this. Um, it keeps giving me this right here every time I start up the truck. I guess my truck just thinks that there's a trailer plugged in. I don't know how to override that or what to do about it. So I'm gonna try to mess with it, but you know, let me know your ideas or dial dynamics. If you see this, how do I get around that? 
It's also now giving me this one now that I'm driving. I okayed all of it. I tried to say that there wasn't a trailer, but now it's giving me this. So just let you guys know. So it's the next day. The snow is picked up and won't stop. But uh, you guys can see, I thought it all went away, but maybe it did go away. Okay, so the reason I think I get that alert every time I drive, or almost every time I drive, it's not completely consistent, is this like doesn't snap in place. It doesn't matter how hard I push it in or anything, it just doesn't really snap in place. And it's kind of easy just to, oh, I say that now, and then now it's kind of hard to take out, but I don't know, it just feels kind of loose to me. I'm thinking maybe that's why it's like that. So Dial Dynamics, if you see this, and uh, you know a fix to this problem or maybe i have a bad one for some reason i don't know but uh yeah i think that's why i get that alert which that alert is super freaking annoying so <laughs> hey uh by the way if you like this video why don't you go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel i do a lot of other cool things and uh, it really helps me out if you do so thank you okay so right here i want to show you guys what everything looks like after the light is installed as you can see it looks pretty good and this is what everything looks like without it and uh it looks pretty bad um pretty easy comparison there here's just another angle of everything now this is without the light um as you can see not very bright at all and then this is with it. Something to take note of is the difference between the running light and when I hit the brake and the brake light itself. Uh, tell me if you notice that difference. Also, I do have that flashing feature, but the flashing feature, I just couldn't recreate it in my driveway, but it does work on the road. I tested it. I just couldn't recreate it for whatever reason. Now here is a final before and after, and uh, I think the results are pretty clear. Let me know what you think. Overall, guys, I really like the lights. Some people say you don't need it. I personally think the reverse lights are pretty lame on this truck, and this really brightens everything up, especially with that extra a brake light on there and then the flashing brake light i actually really like that the more visibility the better the only thing about the product is it's still giving me those warnings it doesn't matter what i do it still gives me all types of notifications dial dynamics if you know how to fix this please let me know it is almost to the point where i don't want to run it on my truck because those notifications are so bad like when i turn on my blinker it thinks my trailer's disconnecting and my blind spot monitoring is not turning on like it's actually causing a lot of issues. So I don't know if I got a bad wiring harness. I don't know if it's because my truck has a max max trailer towing package. I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's doing this. I tried Googling it. I tried everything I could think of. I, I can't figure it out why it's doing this. So if any of you guys know why it's doing this, please let me know. Dial Dynamics, if you know why, if it's the harness, if it's my truck, I don't know. Let me know, please, because it's very, very frustrating and blind spot monitoring is actually very useful. I use it all the time i don't check you know i don't crank my neck left to right anymore like the good old days so i actually really love that feature it's not a feature i want to live without so please let me know how to fix that problem and then this product's an a plus super easy to install i love the functionality but it's just that whole like notification alert system that the truck gives me is like very very mental it's very frustrating so i don't want to have to deal with that every time i drive and it's not every time but it's like every other time so Super frustrating. But other than that, again, guys, I really like the product. I think it's really good. I want to thank all of you guys for watching me. Be good people. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Peace.